Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. My name is Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be doing a more simplified version of a video we covered in the past on fluoxetine or Prozac. We're starting right now. So the first thing we'll discuss in this presentation is what this medication is used for. So fluoxetine treats depression, obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD, bulimia nervosa, and panic disorder. Now how to use this medication. First off, take your medicine as directed. You may need to take it for a month or more before you feel better. Take your medicine at the same time each day. That's particularly more important with this medication when compared to the other SSRIs. Your dose may need to change to find what works best for you. And this medicine should come with a medication guide, so ask your pharmacist if you do not receive one. This medication guide would be great for going over things like how to use the medication, similar to what I'm talking about now, as well as warnings and other things about the medication, just to give you an overall idea of what the medication is really, what it's all about. What happens if you miss a dose? Well, take a dose as soon as you remember, but if it is almost time for your next dose, wait until then and take a regular dose. Do not take extra medicine to make up for a missed dose. Tell your doctor if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, or if you have liver disease, kidney disease, diabetes, glaucoma, bleeding problems, heart disease, or a seizure disorder. Continuing on with warnings, for some children, teenagers, and young adults, this medicine may, make, may increase mental or emotional problems. This may lead to thoughts of suicide and violence. Talk with your doctor right away if you have any thoughts or behaviors that concern you. This medicine may cause the following problems, so serotonin syndrome. This would be more likely if you are also taking other medications that also affect serotonin levels. It may cause low sodium levels, or a higher risk of bleeding, as well as heart rhythm changes. This medicine may make you drowsy or dizzy, so do not drive or do anything that could be dangerous until you know exactly how the medication makes you feel after taking a dose. Do not stop this medicine suddenly. Your doctor will need to slowly decrease your dose before you completely stop. Your doctor will check progress and the effects of the medicine at regular visits, so be sure to keep all appointments and get blood work done as necessary. Now in terms of side effects, for these ones listed on this slide and the next slide, you would want to call your doctor right away or go see your physician if you're experiencing any of these. So the first one would be an allergic reaction, so this could present as itching or hives, swelling in your face or hands, swelling or tingling in your mouth or throat, chest tightness or trouble breathing. If you experience anxiety, restlessness, fever, sweating or muscle spasms and nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, seeing or hearing things that aren't there, a combination of these side effects might be, um, might represent a serotonin syndrome, sorry. So if you experience a number of these side effects, it's a good idea to get checked out because you could be experiencing serotonin syndrome. Confusion, weakness and muscle twitching, eye pain, vision changes, seeing halos around lights. If you're feeling more excited or energetic than usual, if you're having racing thoughts or trouble sleeping, this could be a sign that you're going into hypomania or potentially mania. If you're having blistering, peeling, red skin, or a rash, unusual bleeding or bruising, lightheadedness, dizziness or fainting, or finally thoughts of hurting yourself or others. Now for the following side effects, you would just want to call your doctor when it's convenient for you or talk to them at your next appointment or even just talk to a pharmacist um, when you go to get your next prescription filled. So that would be things like mild diarrhea, constipation, nausea or vomiting, again if they're all mild, uh, dry mouth, headache, sleepy, um, sleepless, sleepiness or trouble sleeping, so sleeplessness, uh, sexual problems, or weight gain or weight loss. So again, if you experience these side effects, you would just want to talk to, your, talk to your doctor at your earliest convenience, so usually at your next appointment. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today is fluoxetine or Prozac. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable, you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, take care.